Hello everyone, uh, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Battle Worn. This is my level 24 Gnome Warrior of Rala's Zek. Uh, you may have seen a long while ago, I created a video about him, his backstory, his lore of who he is. But today I want to talk about his rules. So... If you don't know, uh, I like to create different projects and ideas and different rules to make the game a little bit more enticing and, and different. So I'm not playing the game the same way every time. I'm not just fully grinding up a character to level 60 just to have another character, if you know what I mean. So... Battle Worn was a three-year project of mine. It took three years mostly just to get his visible armor, which is uh, Kale or KT uh, factioned armor. And um, that armor is the only visible armor you will ever see him in. He is not allowed to change his armor set to anything else. He cannot be best in slot visibly. But he can be best in slot underneath the uh, the visible armor. So that is something that I will work on slowly as he is not a primary character of mine that I'm trying to get gear for. <laughs> Plus he is, again, only level 24 or 25. So that's one rule. Uh, another rule of his is that he is not allowed to solo. He has the equipment to be able to solo if he wanted to if i wanted to I, I always refer to my characters as they or them or whatever because um each one of them has their own guidelines or rules or or don't you know yog sothra my necromancer has no rules just play them and enjoy them and the only real rule for them is to look dope so i have a fashion quest kind of thing going on with them but other than that uh there is no real rule set for a lot of my characters but this character he is not allowed to solo he has to be in a group to make experience now he can be traveling through a zone to get to another zone and if he gets attacked he can defend himself but he cannot actively seek experience if he actively seeks experience solo well then that is wrong and i should not be doing that um the other thing is he is again of rallo zek rallo zek's children are the ogres the orcs the goblins and the giants so anytime i am able to i am going to raise those factions and i will not kill or actively try to kill orcs goblins ogres or giants so <laughs> that will be kind of hard because a lot of the leveling zones are going and killing those mobs that's it's kind of one of the uh they, well not ogres so much but giants orcs and goblins are um like high keep uh for the goblins i could kill the guards there though but i would have to be in a group to be able to do it so normally it's something you would solo um, another rule of his is that he can get a ring 10, a Dane, uh, ring 10, but he is not actively able to seek it or get it until he has defeated Dane as a solo tank. So a lot of times whenever you go to a raid and, and you're a warrior, you have that possibility that once your defensive is down, uh, you may or may not die depending on how well the chain is keeping up and how well gaps are being held. If he cannot solo tank Dane, then he won't get his ring 10. But once he has, through the lore, he is ripping that, that ring off of his hand. Now, yes, by, getting, by doing that quest, I will have to have at least dubious faction with... Um, with uh, the dwarves. I'll have to have at least, um, I think, ally faction to be able to do 
the turn-ins to Dane, and Dane and his guards are in a completely different faction. That said, what you don't see in video never happened. <laughs> but once I hit that ring 10, I will have to flip the switch and make sure he goes back to full KOS and becomes full ally again with, uh, with the Giants. It's not something I'm really worried about for a while. Um, it's really hard. One of the things I, I thought was going to be easy is finding groups on a warrior. But it's really not that easy. Uh, I do get into groups here and there, but finding a group or holding a group for any considerable amount of time is actually much harder than I was expecting it would be. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other uh, rules that he has specifically. Not really, I don't think. I think that covers all of them. Um, one of the places I'm actually looking forward to killing is around level 35. I'm going to be taking him to um, to Fiona Vi and killing the um, uh, I forget what they're called the 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 high elves and humans of of Fiona Vi because those actually give positive orc and goblin factions and giant faction as well for non villious uh, giants. So that should be a, that should be a fun killing spot for for that level. Yeah, guys, um, I I hope to say that I will be doing more videos on my characters or EverQuest. Uh, I do have another project I am working on currently. It is a cleric that I am going to only be able to solo. And the other rule uh, that I have for that one is that I will only be able to play that character on stream. So hopefully that will get me to start streaming more. And uh, that should be pretty fun. I'm just waiting on something specific at the moment for the cleric. Before I get started, I already have the armor done. I have the weapons um, and a few other items that I'm... I'm almost done with i'm trying to save a little bit more money for one specific item but either way uh should be a good good well geared cleric to to level they're currently level five at the moment but yeah um that is the other thing i'm working on and i i'm gonna start streaming my necromancer i really enjoy playing that character I just forget to start streaming or forget to stream at all. Um, normally, whenever I'm playing my Necromancer, I get in my groove and I'm just uh, vib vibing wherever it is that I'm killing. And one of the places I'd like to show me soloing is Velk's Lower Dogs. Um, just because that's a really fun place for me to, to solo. And uh, I think that'd be fun to show. Anyway, guys, this is just the small video I wanted to make on Battle Warren and his rules and just give you an update of what's going on. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.